going to go ahead and get into the quadrup thoracic spine series. So this is going to help us get into a good position for that front, front squat or that front rack position. And it's going to get our thoracic spine a little bit more mobile and help our lats so we can get those arms all the way up and feel pretty comfortable with gripping that bottom. So you're going to go ahead and sit on your, uh, sit on your heels here, just like so. We're going to go ahead and bring our body down to the ground. We're lowering ourselves and we're going to drop our elbows to the ground. Make sure your shoulders and your elbows are lined up like so. And we're going to have our head in a neutral position. So we're not going to have our head up, we're going to bring it down. Yep, just like that. So what you're going to do is spread your fingers apart. So we're spreading the fingers apart. We're anchoring those elbows underneath the shoulder blades. And we're going to take a deep breath in. And we're going to think about filling up the top part of our back. So you're going to breathe in through the chest. Hold. And then we're going to actually drive the elbows down and push the shoulders up towards the ceiling at the same time. And we're going to spread the shoulder blades apart. And we're pushing. And we hold for about 10 seconds. And big breath out. You're going to take that big breath out. Though. Still hold that position where you're pushing your elbows up. Or elbows down to the ground and shoulder blades up towards the ceiling and spreading your shoulder blades apart. We're going to go ahead and do it again in that same position. Filling up the chest with air. And then big breath out. And we're going to push. push. And spread your shoulder blades apart. Make sure that head's in that position. A neutral position. You can sit your hips back a little bit more if you need to. And we're going to push one more time and hold. Big breath out. And then from this position, you're going to go ahead and bring your arms forward. So walk these forward, still holding that elevated shoulder retraction of the top of the shoulder. So they're pulling the shoulder blades apart and we're taking a deep breath. Big breath out. And then you're going to shift back your hips and bring the hands forward. Still spreading the shoulder blades apart. One more time, fill up that chest. And big breath out. We hold, we do about 30 seconds for each one. And then let's go ahead and get to the next part. 